Hi, I'm Jason Grace, and this behind me is a 1995 BMW 540i 6-speed. It is the perfect sedan, in my opinion. With the future plans of the car, it's just going to get better. And everything goes in stages, so, I mean, it's, it's going to be a hell of a car in a few years, and it's already a hell of a car now. I can't wait to see what comes of it. decision to put the car for sale. It just stood out to me. The hard lines, the four individual round headlights, you know, it's like it's, it was a, an era that ended with that car. You know, they, they went super modern and not hand built after that. You know, that, that really is what ignited my love. The car doesn't bring up bad memories for me. Like I don't have I don't have any like ill will at all that comes from this car, which I think is unique because most, most people that drive cars in whatever realm, like there's always a downside. Some of the highlights that live in my brain rent free are shooting the first episode of Homegrown Style. I mean, that was, that was eye-opening and get some really interesting footage and just be up in, in the wilderness in Palomar Mountain. I thought that was just awesome. And then really what that led into was increased exposure for what I was doing with the car and that, that opened up opportunities to collaborate with FCP Euro, Stance Works, and Performance BMW Magazine and to have some really awesome articles written about the car. Since we shot the first episode, the car's really gone into a, a whole new phase. We upped the power by developing a four inch intake and airbox. Uh, Haltech 2500 Elite standalone engine management system with uh, Race Pack Digital Dash. I, I probably purchased the last new set of Dynan Shrip cams and installed those with lightweight lifters to, to help push the power band up and have a higher red line. I had Riley from RS Motorsports convert the power steering system to a triple baffled reservoir with dash and fittings, braided lines, and a big CSF cooler up front just to keep temps down. And I had Riley build a full custom stainless steel exhaust where he, he made his own tri-wise off of the stock manifolds into a two and a half inch dual system with an X-pipe and 
race cats and straight through resonators. I mean, it's, it is a work of art when you see under the car because you know, not only have we done the go fast stuff, we've spent 70 plus hours underneath the car detailing it, um, making it look like a brand new car. You know, it's a, it's a 95 with almost 300,000 miles on it, but you would never, ever know. In the six years of owning it, my perception of what the car means has evolved and pivoted so much, but I think it comes down to, it's helped me hone my, my vision for the attention to detail, you know, going and doing things that most people aren't willing to do or put the money into just to, to reach the goals that I wanted to reach. I think it's helped me sharpen my saw with just overall visions of car builds and it, it means the world to me because it's connected me to a community I don't think I would have ever been a part of. I've created so many friendships that mean more to me than you know, the average Joe. It's one of those cars where every time I get out of it, I look back and smile. I mean, there, there's no way around it. I mean, it, it, means, it means so much to me. I, I put so much thought and, and time into the decision to sell the car, and it really comes down to being the right time. I feel like I've done everything I can possibly do to highlight this particular car to the best of my ability. And I've really, I've executed the vision that I've always had with this car and, and it's time for someone else to appreciate it and, and drive it. And I wanna continue to build cars. I wanna, I wanna move on to different chassis and, and really show my creative potential with, with other cars and, and put this same level of detail that I put into the E34 into something else. It's bittersweet, but you know it, it's helping me build a brand and a business, and and it's it's a it's a small sacrifice for the bigger picture is all it is. So yes, definitely bittersweet. I'm gonna be sad. It's gonna it's probably gonna be hard, but it's you know there's there's a much bigger plan at play right now. something that started as a dream or a thought turn into a tangible piece of art that you can look at, that you can drive, that you can share. I mean, it's, it is so cool. And no matter what, like it's all about trusting the process and enjoying that process as much of a roller coaster ride as it can be. Again, having the discipline and, and, and the grit to, to make it through the hard times and, and see your vision through to the end there's nothing more rewarding than that. I want to share my gratitude for the relationships and friendships that I've gained in the last six years because of the, the ride that I've been on with this car, you know, from all of the amazing companies that I've been able to partner with to help really execute the vision of the car, it's second to none. You know, I've made some of my best friends and I, 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 wanna, I wanna thank every single one of them and you know who you are. It's the end of a, of a book that I didn't anticipate closing so soon, but it's, it's cool. Like it still puts a smile on my face, and I hope someone, you know, whoever does end up picking this car up, drives it. Don't let it sit. It's a it's a high mileage chassis. It's meant to be driven. I built this car to be driven hard. <laughs>